So here we have Steve O'Boy, Montegraph, reintroducing his panhandling Patreon. Patreon is panhandling. He big. Remember, this creature is a childless creature. Right. And and apparently, you know, on YouTube, there's a lot of really sensitive creatures that can't seem to understand what erotica means. And they get so tripped out about it that it's, you know, taboo or something. So I'm not going to do that. I'll do that on another channel. I'll bring in the embed code into Patreon and lock it up only to Patreon. Or... So what are all these super chats all about? There you go. It's in yellow. It's all about donations. Another form of e-begging. Another avenue. A very subtle one indeed. You'll find all these overseas pay trolls. Old gamers turned military. I'm not going to go into this. This is common knowledge. I just have to type your name in. Do we not, Steve? -O? Mocking Christopher. I spy who shield for Vegas just like you. Just remember, Steve, no one is Googling your name except yourself every day of your internet existence. Is that correct? The evidence against you is in your presentations for Texas parcel bombing, where you allude to the naive out there that there's some foul police play regarding the victim at the end of the psychological scenario. The same with your military helicopter LARP of Las Vegas. The evidence is in your presentation. One can walk a fine avenue in regards to your partner in Shill crime the rent -a cop agent 19 one image says it all him lapping it up for adam lanza you two are quite the clowns and that's how i will continue relaying the messages to the naive the new and old upcomers so in one instance seven years ago a mirror of your Self imposed the leading of your video, begging to have this video removed so you can gloat and withdraw some e commas from your erotica induced angle, which you've just proven yet again you are going to partake again on Patreon. And what sort of creatures? Do this time and time again, decade after decade. So as we reflect on your shillfolio, we see the main channel does not have that video in question. My request is put it up on your main channel. You know what will happen, do you not? Your perverted erotic angle has not gone unnoticed by many you state it's all about the moolah so put it up country boy what are you waiting for mr gloater what are you waiting for Neon Diamond, self-seeking internal investigation. You are documenting. You are documenting. Okay, we'll have fun. Let's see. Oh, you know what's really funny? 
is the video popped out, let's see, because people tag monograph, the monograph name because they can't get views any other way. Because you have like between 35 and maybe 80 people that every day they Google monograph to see what kind of troll videos out and then they go watch it. Oh, they have a big old shindig or whatever. Anyway, some video came out where they posted the two girls, one cup parody. And they you know, they changed the title of it to like monographs, Valentine's, whatever the hell, when that wasn't it. And here's the thing. And the name of the channel is uh, Jealous Aussie or something like that, right? So he puts this video up thinking he's going to knock me or something. Well, here's the funny thing about that video. That video was the parody of Two Girls, One Cup. It was published in 2008. This is a true story. I'm going to tell you this story. It's real good. Uh, and what I did was I consulted a very good friend of mine out of Germany. We did a lot of music uh, collaborations constantly, right? I think the the best one we did was Freedom Speaks. But anyway, so I consulted him to write a custom-made jingle for the video. The video is less than two minutes long. So I said, Tommy, write me something kind of diddly, you know, or whatever. It'll be, it'll be funny, you know. And as you know, the two girls, one cup was disgusting. It was outrageous. Uh, I mean, just want to make you sick. So what I did was basically got on this wig and I got me a Barbie doll and a cup of pudding. I'm like dipping the Barbie doll in there and kissing on it. <laughs> Hilarious. Not saying a word, the music playing out in the background. When I first published that video, it had, um, because back in the day on the Monograph channel, I put up a video and one day it had 80,000 views for real. No joke. Any kind of I put up a video eating a carrot, and it had 35,000 views in 24 hours. It's not a joke. So when I put up that video, in about three days, it had, I don't know, maybe it was 35,000 views, maybe 40,000. And um, at the time, I was working for, I think, a telecommunications firm or some stuff. And I went to work, and I came home, and I was like in shock, because I went to my emails, and back then, I had it set up that all my monograph uh, comments went to my email. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, let me check my email, because you check your email for business or whatever. And when I went to check my email, I had nine thousand emails. Man, what is going on? <laughs> I started reading them as comments on the video. I'm like, why is there nine thousand comments in one day? YouTube featured the video on the front page. That's a fact. In three days time, that video got nine million views. True story. Sure did. And I went laughing all the way to the bank. Uh-huh. Sure did. Yep. And what's even more fascinating is about three months later, after they pulled it down, off the, you know, the front page, it was still running on my channel, under the site statistics, I noticed that it was being carried on 170 different websites all over the world, accruing all of these hits. Tick, 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 tick. And again, I went laughing all the way to the bank. And about eight months later, YouTube featured it again. Sure did. By the time the video came down, the video had 19 and a half million views. And again, I went laughing all the way 
to the bank. See how that works? That's how that works. So when people put up videos thinking that you're going to get at me, thank you very much for sharing with the class how successful a less than two minute video can actually be. Isn't that neat? So for all you people out there that are partner channels, do the math because I did. Yeah. So, so in essence, you're a money making, erotic video making shill. That will be all. Truck there that reminds me of the unmarked truck that was by the helicopter in Las Vegas. Anyway, I don't want to get off on that thing. You know that truck there that reminds me of the unmarked truck that was by the helicopter in Las Vegas. Anyway, I don't want to get off on that thing. www.intellihub.com Vegas flight records reveal air assault extraction possible right slash you do have a habit do you not steve-o uh, Monty came out with a uh, basically my own profile of what I thought maybe the perpetrator would be uh, let's see white male single age 42 to 63 prior law enforcement Military, native to Texas, conservative, libertarian, we'll get older. It's the same ammo, isn't it? Monty. Who goes out of their way to build profiles and build codes within codes of hidden video within hidden channels? Oh, <laughs> fuck me, dead. So the kids know how to use inspect element, do they not? Steve O. We know you're tall. Existence, we have the foals, we outlast, and our offsprings, offsprings, offsprings outlast your childless existence, Steve. Thank you.